gets over the cast. And so was the director himself. As Hututu premiered in New Delhi days before its All India release, what became evident to the audience was the fact that Gulzar's brand of filmmaking has undergone a distinct change in form and content, though maybe not in style. This theme of corruption has been troubling me with my everyday living for a number of years because it was always on the increase. That seems to have become a regular way of uh, administration. With the result, it had to start bothering any, anybody who is um, trying to live a uh, decent and a straight life. The film stars Nana Patikar as Bhav, a Dalit street poet who acts as the sutradhar in the story. He is playing um, a Dalit poet who performs on any street corner any time and makes a strong comment on his surroundings which I think is a very interesting character and he draws the main beach ke line. A completely de-glamorized Tabu in the female lead and as the unhappy daughter of a corrupt chief minister turns in a performance that justifies Gulzar's confidence in her histrionic abilities. It's a very real character. Character which we would see every day we would meet. It's not... Uh, a made out or a fictional characters. Another interesting aspect of Hututu is muscle man Sunil Shetty in a new avatar. I think he's, he's a very potential actor. All that he needs is a good script. Given a good script or a good character, Sunil can certainly reach it. According to the filmmaker, even the title Hututu, borrowed from the game of Kabaddi, is symbolic of a fight between two teams, the tussle between wealth and power. It is the story of the game, but in real life, played by fictional characters. Hututu is one rhythm which happens, which is a comment on certain one section of people. Jinka kaam, jo baithe huye, baso, isko gira, usko patak, iski taang khenche, uska haath moro. As Hututu is shown in cinema theatres across the country, it remains to be seen how this poet filmmaker's political offering performs at the box office. But more importantly, for this sensitive filmmaker, it is probably not the economics of the venture that matter, but the emotions.